Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is Taco Tuesday, and I hope all your taco dreams come true. Um, we are in day number one of the mini camp for the Dallas Cowboys, the mandatory mini camp. And cd lamb of course is not there um he's waiting on his contract My, micah parsons this is interesting what micah parsons said about cd lamb micah parsons on cd lamb's pending contract cb lamb is about to hit the brinks truck he's about to get his yeah he is about to get his micah was there at training camp at minicamp and um it does not sound like he is very happy at all micah parsons is there but you can see that he is definitely going to uh he's going to be the squeaky wheel that wants to get the brinks truck backed up to him um first thing he was joking about the new defensive coordinator micah parsons joked about that he and mike zimmer haven't talked much he's a very quiet person interesting all I keep hearing from coaches is that Zim likes it this way, but I like it that way. Um, I can't wait to have my true sit down with him. I think it's pretty cool because obviously old school mindset, old school mentality. He had a lot of great players, but he ain't never had a Micah before. It will be fun, and I think it will be unique. There are some things that I'm going to get used to things that i i got to get used to it's going to be a compromising relationship okay all right so he's putting out there he ain't never had a guy like me yeah a guy who is the media darling uh the guy who's a sumo wrestler and everything else that is micah parsons coming to the contract side the people's champion jane slater this is where things start to get interesting. This is what he has said. Basically letting you know that, you know, I ain't paid enough to do everything that you want me to do. That this is, To me, this is the gist of what he said. Did we just hit 118,000? We did. I, I didn't even notice it. Thank you, guys. Also, too. All channel members, channel members, we have actually a new management site for channel members to make sure you get your shot glasses and your footballs and all that run by Miss Tracy. And the link to go ahead and get the information there for you and stuff like that is in the community tab. So make sure you go there and you get that done because, you know, you say, well, I didn't get my football. Well, if I don't know your address to send it to, how can I get to you? I, I can't do like a jeep, you know, make it just disappear up here at your house. What Micah said with Jane Slater, and this is where things start to go off the rails a little bit. And this is where you kind of have to read between the lines. What Micah Parsons is doing here is letting you know, I am the big fish here and you need to take care of me. I understand the business side of it too. You know, this is all I have. This is all I have to offer the Cowboys. You know before you sign a contract, you go through a physical before you do anything, before even on a team. You got to go to a physical like this is your engine. Like this is where all my equity lies. I have no equity outside of this to offer them. So what he's saying is this, whether I'm here or not, the bottom line is, can I perform? Am I in the tip top shape to be able to perform? And in his mind, he's better off doing his own thing of doing, you know, the sumo wrestling and doing the boxing and doing his workouts and things as opposed to the team, the diva mentality. Availability is the best ability, which is always that's, that's, your, your best ability is your availability when it really matters. Because I'm banged up or my body's not healing properly, 
I don't get all of the rehab and treatment that I need to be successful. And you know, that's on me, not on them. They'll just find the next me, which is very true, which is very true. If you cannot play, they're always, always looking for the next guy. This is why they're kind of saying, you know, is there another guy on the roster before we sign these guys? Is there a player out there we can draft out there? Before we play this, this is the game. This is the game. It, from the time you sign, they're, they're always in the back of their mind, can I replace this guy? Do I really need this guy? Um, Micah Defense is approached by saying his body is his engine. I have no equity outside of this to offer them. The other part here is when, that, that's here, there, there's a lot of quotes of Micah today. I also, and this is from Jane Slater. I also asked Mike about his approach and what if he, uh, what if others did that? He said to me already and did said, uh, and did say, some people get paid a whole lot of money to be here. I'm not one of them. Let me say it again. Some people get paid a whole lot of money to be here. I'm not one of them last thursday he said his absence was because he wanted to attend his son's kindergarten graduation and he has been around and was there on a uh, condensed week with the storms because remember last tuesday there was a power outage at the star because of the bad weather and they ended up basically doing virtual reality meetings for it also he said he values his conversations with mike mccarthy who has taken on the challenge of talking to him since Dan Quinn left. Here's the thing. Micah Parsons is letting the Cowboys know, you got to pay me. You want me here full time? You got to pay me like I'm here. Um, there was another one where I'm not sure if I, I thought I had it too, but I don't seem to have it where he said that, um, there's times that Aaron Donald didn't show up. Yeah, here it is. You know, and I think that what, that's what camp does for me. There's a lot of time where Aaron Donald didn't even go to camp in one defensive player of the year and then went on to the playoffs. Like, are we forgetting those times? Like, we are talking uh, about the same defensive player wasn't even in camp. And we're in minicamp, voluntary at that. So, you know, minicamp was something that is mandatory. So I'm just looking at it like a time for my body to heal. I'm playing for playing as an undersized rusher who is banged up every year. So I'm just letting my body heal. I'm trying to grow, strengthen, and really get ready for the year. So he's saying, listen, you're asking me to take on bigger people. I'm undersized. The last couple of years, I've been banged up. And right now, I don't want to get banged up. I want to start off fresh. I'm going to go ahead and get my body healed and right for the season. And the best way I can do that is not being there with you guys. I'm working on getting myself in shape. Last year we put on weight and so on. And you're not paying me enough to be there to do that. So take all that as you will. And I, I have to agree with that last part of that because you, and, and I've, I've pointed out this too, because I want you to think about Zeke Elliott, Okay. If you actually look at and you can take Saquon Barkley too. Because Zeke Elliott carried the ball so much, beginning of the season, you're seeing like, you know, high fours and stuff of, uh, you know, running the football. But each week you're carrying the ball. He was carrying 20, 25 times. That by the time you get to the end of the season, those numbers have gone down, especially, especially the last couple of years he was here. By the time the playoffs get here, He's worn out because he has been the bellwether bell back. And this is where I say, here's the problem of having just one running back is, by the time the season ends, they're not as effective. 
And you can look throughout history, for the most part, with the exception of maybe Terrell Davis and Emmett Smith, that typically when you've had the great running backs that have these great seasons, Adrian Peterson always comes to mind, that by the time the playoffs get here, they're not as effective because I think they're worn out. And I think the same thing happens with the Micah Parsons. You could say the same thing happened um, quite a few times with DeMarcus Ware here. That because they're constantly banging and banging and banging and banging and banging, and especially Micah Parsons being on the smaller size, when you think about going against Trent Williams, who's about 330, and Micah Parsons is like giving up 90 pounds and having to go against these guys week after week, that by the end of the season, there ain't much left in the tank. You're battered and bruised, and you're not the same guy. And so he recognizes this, that the bottom line is, I got to be healthy. If I'm not healthy, I can't perform. If I can't perform, you ain't paying me the Brinks truck. So there you have it. You guys do with this as you may. Um, it is definitely interesting to say the least. Um, but Micah Parsons, he's that guy. To you by Lincoln Mercury. Nobody has more kinds of cars or more kinds of people. See them at the sign of the cat. By Goodyear, makers of the custom steel guard radial tire. And by State Farm Mutual. Almost anywhere you live, there's a State Farm agent nearby. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 